Lexi here with the Elevate Your Energy and we're back y'all, we back, we back with another video. Um, today's video is going to be um, a couple of small updates and the ultimate da, 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 unboxing. So as many of you, many of you probably don't know, I had a birthday literally two days ago and this was one of the gifts that I got for myself amongst a couple others. Um, but I have not opened this deck. I have not taken the plastic off. I haven't did anything with it yet until we did this here video. This right here, okay? So, um, let me invite you guys. Come up, pull up a chair, pull up a drink, you know, some water, some wine, some coffee, some tea. I, in particular, have um, a mix of Organifi's red juice. So it's water and, and red juice, cornicoid, corticoids, and um, things that mentally stimulate your mind and your metabolism, give you mental clarity, things like that. So that's what I'm sipping on right now. And um, I wanted to also share with you guys a couple of the crystals that I really like, that, I, that are more newish in form to me. And um, get started with this unboxing. Let's go. All right, guys. So I hope you have all pulled up your poured up your drink, whatever you're gonna sip on while you watch this video and hang out with your girl for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip of my blood juice because it is a mean thing. Oh, so good. And then let's get into these crystals really fast, okay? So the first one that I really wanted to share with you guys is this one here. And this one's called Black Cyanide. And this one here specifically, I hope you guys can see it. Um, I don't want to mess up the zoom engine all that right now. So um, this one's good for cord cutting, protection, um, simply cutting through the BS. You know what I'm saying? And let that be BS, BS, or BS as in belief systems, okay? So that one's black cyanide. Then we have this one here, which is bloodstone. And this one's like a green kind of um, has red dots in it and this one is good for healing, courage, health, power, victory, business, and legal matters. So I really like that one. And then next I have my, I'm not new to this one at all, but I do, I was called to have it up here today for this video. So this one is Citrine and this one is good for success, prosperity, business, optimism, clearing, protection, anti-nightmares, and enhances your psychic abilities. So I really love citrine, and when I meditate, I put crystals all over the place, so. And even when I go to bed under my pillow, I got like loads of crystals under my pillow. Don't judge me. <laughs> so, and then the last but not least, this is my favorite. This is the newish, newer-ish crystal that I've recently purchased here locally in my hometown. Um, and this one is a selenite athame. And so if you're watching this video right now, you may potentially have an idea, obviously, what an athame is. And this one in particular is a selenite athame. And this one here is, um, it breaks up old block energy and it aids in um, healthy, energetic um, alignment and cord cutting and clearing as well. So I really love this when I do my protection, my daily protection rituals. I love having a sword really literally to use like every day. So I really love this one. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So, oh, I will be linking my Etsy store in the bottom of the description in the description box because I have some new things that I'm putting in there and I'm starting a new goddess collection with um, waist beads and a couple of their uh, items and some necklaces that I'm in the works of making like this one here is a money prosperity charm slash amulet so I will be having those on my Etsy store as well so if you guys are interested please let me know in the comments down below and um if you're so willing, feel so inclined, if you like my vibe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're so also inclined, you can hit the notification bell just so you can be, you know, notified whenever I drop any dope ass content that you might find interesting that is meant to elevate your energy. So without further ado, guys, let's get this unboxing started, okay? All right, guys, so the moment that we've all been waiting for. So let me really quickly, this deck in particular, I found on Amazon, right? Literally, I purchased this deck, I pre-ordered it, pre-ordered it two months ago, 
okay july two months ago i ordered it the beginning of july it was july 7th i'm pretty sure that i ordered this deck for my own personal birthday gift to myself because the nightmare before christmas is one of my hands down absolute favorite movies of like all time ever don't care how old i get this is one of my movies so let me tell you if they come out with a uh, hocus pocus type of deck you know your girl's gonna cop that too so anyway without further ado let's get to the unboxing of this beautiful deck y'all so i'm gonna zoom in a little bit so that way you guys can see beautiful cards there we go excited y'all don't understand when you gotta wait two months two months like for a deck like oh my god and then and then it came and i still had to wait because i promised myself that i would do this video first before i touched it so okay so this deck though so let's talk about the box real fast you guys can see the box has a like really nice matte ish kind of finish to it and it's a good size box don't get me wrong my hands are fairly small however however okay it's still like a really good size box deck all right guys let's get into this unboxing i hope you guys by the way like my my little halloween -y theme here going on i'm trying <laughs> for real okay so So, the guidebook that sits right on top is the same color as the back of the deck and the sides of it. So, and this is again a in, uh, deck inspired by um, Disney's Tim Burton, The Nightmare Before Christmas. So, I'm like so excited. Uh, just so you know, guys, by the way, I did change my, um, my camera um, zoomage so that way you guys can really see the cards clearly and I might look a little bit more blurry so just so you know oh my gosh I'm so excited oh so they have like the same font and everything check it out this is the back of the book and this is the front of it oh my gosh oh and the color oh my god okay so dude sorry I'm getting like super excited right now and I'm really trying not to be like over the top about it but I get really I'm such a big kid about stuff like this the pages are color guys the pages are colored <laughs> and it has okay so I love already that the, the guidebook has upright and reverse leanings so obviously they can be read either way which they are tarot cards so you would expect that to be the case however however those who know about tarot decks know that they don't always be like that so oh my gosh ah, i'm so excited so there's an intro um to the deck and then they give like a part to understand your tarot deck and the major art they break it down with the um section by the major arcanas and oh my gosh i am gonna definitely go by through each part one by one and all that stuff with you guys because I feel like that's definitely important to do for sure and then they got its section with the minor arcana you guys can see that and then and then so like normally I've noticed that other tarot decks they um they give you ways to do the spread at the beginning of the book but this one however has it at the end so you know not that that's a big deal it really doesn't matter but anyway i just want to get into the deck now so that is the guidebook guys it's um the same it's not the same size as the cards but it's the same size as the box so it fits in perfectly and like i said the pages are colored it's like it's perfectly themed i, I love it already this is the inside of the box and it's funny too because it matches my um my halloween table clock here going on for halloween it has a um, purple ribbon that holds the cards inside of it. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, oh my god. Okay, let me just say, let me just say, for those that are into tarot, like in a, in a real way, 
this is a deck you can appreciate the card quality okay like i haven't even even started messing with them yet but just just pulling them off the box and the texture of them it's the same texture as the box it's that matte type of um finish it almost honestly it almost reminds me of um this deck here which is the light series tarot which is like my lately it's a, a, one of the newer decks that i got but i freaking love it it explains why i see so many readers with it it's i really really connect really well with that one so oh i'm so excited but anyway so this is the cards how they look first coming out of the box so you guys can see that is how the, the back of the cards look and now we're gonna do a flip through okay one by one god it's beautiful i love this deck already mm. okay let's let's i think they have them starting with the major arcana here at the front so let's start there they have them in order so we'll just go in order okay all right so first starting is the fool jack skellington and the dog oh my gosh i love these already guys i love them already oh i'm so excited i'm so excited to use them too okay then we have the magician just the number one And then we have the High Priestess. And then we have the Empress. <laughs> Let me just say, with this Empress card, it gets not, like the meaning of what we know as the Empress card, this picture does not embody that at all. Just a, Fair warning, so you're not all like, ooh. It's it's like the it's the theme of the deck. It's it's nightmare before Christmas. So you would think that like the high priestess card, being that it's it's um Sally, you would think that that would be what's on the Empress, but it's not. It's so not. It's this big, not so pretty lady here. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, and then we have the Emperor, which is Santa Claus. I don't remember honestly you guys all the names of all these people in the movie but I'm just doing my best to you know at least show you guys how freaking amazing this deck is though like off the rip already I'm like so excited the lovers look at of course would we expect anything different would we expect anything less than Sally and Jack Skellington together on a card no no we would not chariot cod automatically get like destiny on this card like kind of like you have no choice but you know things are turning things are changing things are happening and you have no choice because he's literally they have him like like hand and like wrists and ankles strapped to the thing so it's like you're you have no choice but to just you know go with the go with the flow right and we have justice I really like these guys I really like these cards already. The hangman. So this is um Santa Claus hanging. Probably like a thread or something. And then we have death. I'm such a big kid, like at heart, honestly, so I I so love and adore these type of cards. So temperance, I love that. It's like she's pouring potions, pouring, you know. Like she's making the balancing, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. Then we have the devil. We all remember that dude. Hmm. <laughs> the tower. 
this tower, it's funny because this tower don't look nearly as scary and as bad as other, as normal tarot decks make it seem. Which is, which I do like because for me, it's like I learned the, um, the tower is to be like a bad card, but really it's just simply life shaking things up because it wasn't, it wasn't solid to begin with. It's kind of like it's gonna, it was gonna eventually happen anyway. So what do you, what do you take from it? Do you just look at it as like life falling apart and the worst thing ever? Or is it like things falling apart so they're cousin really falling into place? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so anyway, the star. I know you can't tell I'm really trying to hold myself back right now, but I really love them. And then you have the moon. And we have the sun. Like, uh, I love that. The sun guard. And then you have judgment. I really love these. So, like, after I'm done, I really do want to go back through them all and really, um, go through what I get off of the, out of each card like off of the imagery and stuff of them so the world so it has a picture here if you guys can see that of um like a tree a pumpkin a heart and a like a decorated egg or something and then underneath those on the floor sit um there's something on each tree as well so I think that's really cool definitely a different depiction of the world based versus other tarot decks that's for sure king of candles Ooh. so the king of candles i'm assuming is the king of wands or is it wands or is it swords because i did see needles so i feel like the needles may be <clears throat> excuse me may be the swords king of candles because the honestly it, from what I saw so far, the deck doesn't tell you what these are traditionally, so I'm not sure. King of Candles, and then we have the Queen of Candles. So I'll definitely be going through to figure out what what is really what with that. We have the Knight of Candles. And the candles honestly could be the swords too. So I have to go through and see if I can figure out and determine what is what, right? Maybe after reading um, a couple of the definitions, it'll, I'll be able to decipher it that way. Um, page of candles. And we have ace of candles. Yeah, I feel like these are wands or something, but I keep getting wands off of these, off of these images. So, and then we have the minor arcana, which is the two of candles. Sorry, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to strip for y'all. <laughs> two of candles, and then we have three of candles. I'm literally going through one by one because I really, really love unique and different artwork within a tarot deck. Like seriously, even oracle cards, like if, it, if, it, if I'm drawn to it, even if it's not super bright and happy, like I'm like, ah, all for it. And that's what these do for me. So four of candles, got some vamps on them. And then five of candles. We have the six of candles. See, this is why I say I think they're wands. I think the candles is the wands in the deck. Then we have the seven of candles. I really love these. It's like each card I'm kind of like surprised on what comes out. It's none of them are the same. None of them are predictable. You know, it's like you expect to see the characters that are in the movie, but like the candle, like, oh, like this one here. Like I really honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I love the Deviant Moon tarot deck for those that are familiar. However, I think this deck kind of might outbeat that one because that that artwork is definitely unique and it's different but these are on a whole different level honestly i love it and i think because it's more cartoonish too so that was the nine of candles and then we have the ten of candles ten of candles and then we have the king of presents i don't know what the king of presents is hmm. So I did see, hmm. 
have to figure out what the presents are. So anyway, king of presents. Queen of presents. You know what? I'm not gonna pretend and sit here and act like I don't wanna know what these mean. <laughs> so let's see. Suit of candles, king of candles. Why don't they tell you? Hold on, let's see. Let me not, let me not uh, assume that I don't know what they are. So, okay. So the minor arcanas are a suit of candles, a suit of presents, needles, and potions. So we know that for sure that the, the potions is cups, and I'm assuming the needles is wands. Can't no. Needles is swords. The candles are wands. <clears throat> And so the presents have to be, um, let's see which suit I'm missing, I can't think right now. <sighs> um, candles, wands, swords, cups, Jesus Christ, that's freaking suit, guys, what's the other suit? Wands, cups. Oh my god, this is gonna drive me crazy. Okay, let's let's just do this. Let's just do Pentacles. Oh my god, Jesus Christ me. Jesus Christ me. Okay, Pentacles. Pentacles. And that makes sense. I really feel like these are the Pentacles because when you think of presents, you think of you know, money, gifts, gratitude, you know, things like that. So I, th I think that's what the presents are. Presents are pentacles. Oh, I can like shoot myself for that. God. Okay, so candles, wands, pentacles, swords, and cups. Okay, so candles are the wands, the presents are the pentacles, the needles are the swords, and the potions are the cups. All right. Now I think we got that squared away. Let's go to the let's 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 just look. How about that? <laughs> let's just look real fast. Yeah, material scarcity. So yeah, five of presents, material scarcity, and five of pentacles. So yeah. All right. So I was right. Good. <laughs> got that out of the way. So knight of presents, knight of pentacles. We have page of presents. And honestly, I'm probably gonna end up doing a reading for you guys after this, like for the for, for the elements at least, at the least. Ace of presents. <laughs> it's the ace of pentacles. And then we have the two of presents. It's like every card is so freaking different. I love that. Like it definitely keeps you engaged. You can't even like get bored. You can't get bored with this. You can't, because it's just like wow. <laughs> Three of presents, three of pentacles. We have the four of presents. Five of presents. The one I was just talking about, it's five of pentacles, right? And that's the thing, so if you know anything about tarot and you know what the what traditional tarot cards mean, then when you go through the guidebook you can better decipher what's what if you forget. So and then we have six of presents, and then they do them in Roman, Roman numerals too, so which other decks do as well. So then we have seven of presents, eight of presents, nine of presents, and ten. Oh God. <laughs> Any ten of presents. Jeez, ten of pentacles. It's like, it's crazy because like some of the cards don't you don't get like this super extra positive vibe on them off the imagery at least that you normally do in other decks. So it's kind of interesting how that works. We have the king of needles. So remember the needles is what? 
the swords. So, King of Needles. Queen of Needles. The thing that's interesting though about these needle cards so far is that there's no... Both of them don't have any type of needles attached to them. Like that I can see. I could be totally wrong, but it's like, I don't... Where are the needles at? Like they're called the needles. And I don't know if it's just because of the stitches of the imagery, but all of them are stitched. Stitched beans. So it's like, where are the needles? I don't know. So anyway, then we have the Knight of Needles. He has a freaking picket fork. So it could be a needle, right? <laughs> a form of a needle. We have the page of needles. See, they don't have any needles either. <laughs> they don't have any swords or anything close. Ace of needles. Oh, we finally got a needle, guys. We finally got a needle. Finally got a needle. And then we have the two of needles. And I will definitely, for your guys' um, tarot guilty pleasures, I will definitely link the link to this deck in particular in the description box of this video so you guys can find it if you like because I'm tired of tarot readers being stingy with their decks and the kind they use because we all read differently so a particular deck whether someone has it or not is still going to be read differently your audience is still yours your audience and they still like your vibe sometimes over other people so I'm not going to be stingy with the decks that I have that I use so anyway Three of Needles. Ouch. My legs fall asleep, guys. Legs fall asleep. And four of Needles. Five of Needles. Like looking at it, if you didn't see the title at the bottom, I think that's like so far only the only thing that kind of bothers me about this deck really is just that not all of them have, at least with that particular suit I've noticed so far, that particular suit, the needles, which is the swords, doesn't have, all the cards don't have any type of needle imagery in it. So if you don't see the title for whatever reason, you're not just going to know by looking at the card itself. You're not going to know what it is. So anyway. Seven of needles. Seven needles in it. And eight of needles. I think that's like really honestly the only thing I'm kind of finding disappointing right now, honestly. We have the nine of needles. And then we have the potions, the potions. So, king of potions. You look cray cray. Cray cray, my life. <laughs> Queen of potions, ooh, she's not cute. She's not cute, guys. You do not think of like, ooh, happy, good. <laughs> Emotionally happy, nurturing, stable. You don't think of none of that with that card, right? I know. Knight of Potions, Page of Potions, Ace of Potions, Two of Potions, Three of Potions. We're almost done, guys. Almost done with the deck. 
six of potions. guidebook for those who may not be as familiar with tarot that it tells you you know even in parentheses you know what each suit is as compared to traditional tarot just like I said for those who aren't as familiar who for you know for all we, they know this could be like their absolute first tarot deck and they wouldn't know like what is potions what are needles like you know and it'd have to go in reference other it's just I don't know I, I I look at things from many different angles so I kind of I see the the whole value in changing the names of them and everything but also I can see it from um, a consumer standpoint as well so even me having to go through and like I don't know these look like wands but then there's needles and both are to, you know both the both of them can hurt you really to, you know what I'm saying wands can hurt just as swords can so it's kind of like which one's which you know um and in the presence it's like you could pretty much guess what they are but again like i said for those who this like i said it's their absolute first tarot deck you know what i'm saying it's it's they would have a hard time trying to figure out what's what without having to just read through and reference back to it could in my head it could turn into a way bigger process than it needs to be trying to just determine what card means what so that's my um my standpoint with that as far as the imagery on um, the needles suits which is the swords in traditional tarot i felt like there should definitely be more needles on all of the like major arcanas of that um not major arcanas i'm sorry of those um you know the other suits of like the king the queen the page all those ones they didn't have needles on like any of those and that was kind of like why and then again in the guidebook you know having specifics and parentheses or something so you know what they are but overall i think it's a really it's a really good freaking deck okay i'm trying to try not to curse this channel so anyway but yeah so i'm super excited to use these guys i'm, I'm like really really excited to see um you know how they how they do i feel like they're gonna shuffle nice they feel like definitely um good card quality i um i really can appreciate a good a good tarot deck because the way i go through decks sometimes it's like yo like they're new and next thing you know they're looking old and i'm like no i don't want that I don't want that i want them to look new for a longer time damn it so anyway um yeah I'm super excited so i really hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing slash review of this beautiful nightmare before christmas tarot deck and this is again the box for it I'm trying to hopefully you know see if this is clear for you guys you can see um like i said this is uh, disney tim burton inspired the nightmare before christmas tarot deck and guidebook on amazon and again i will link the um the link to that deck in my description box of this video and um like i said if you guys like the video if you like my vibe like how i do it then go ahead and subscribe hit that notification bell just so you can be notified anytime anytime i drop some dope ass content that you may find interesting and that is all designed to elevate your energy so i hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and stay uplifted, stay inspired, inspire others, and until next time, guys. Bye.
Audi.